everybody and welcome back to Stardew Valley Expanded. Here with me, Tea Addict. How are you guys going? Happy Monday. It is Monday night. It is 7.30 p.m. and I actually just got home from work half an hour ago. I had an extremely long day today. I left, left the house at about 8.30 a.m. this morning and I got back Ooh, I've got a storm approaching, lightning and thunder expected. Um, and I got back at 7 p.m. So, pretty big day out of the house for me today. I'm feeling very, very tired and sleepy. Um, and I'm very, very happy that Stardew Valley is the game that I record on Mondays. Because literally, I think this is like the only game that I am physically capable of recording today I am just so so tired uh, but that's okay because it's Stardew is the game that we have on the agenda for tonight ah uh, yeah but yeah I hope you guys are go uh, going well I hope you've had a lovely weekend um, and I hope that you or your Monday has gotten off to a good start uh, for the week ahead I had a good day like it was it was perfectly fine although it was a bit of a mess um, I went to uni uh, where I work to just do a work day. I had a meeting at 10 a.m. and I had like some stuff that I needed to do. But then when I got there, half of the systems were down um, and no one really seemed to know why. But one of the systems that were down were our staff emails. Um, and it turns out that my job at the uni is like 80% uh, answering and sending emails so I really didn't have a lot that I could do today but that's all right I I did what I could and then I yeah had a late appointment to um, with a with a study participant and yeah I don't know it was just it was a long day a good day but a long day so I'm just so so uh, happy to be home and playing Stardew uh, but yeah I hope that you guys had a good Monday Whoop, I'm out of water um, so in today's episode, we have a few things that we want to do. Obviously, you can see we're really, really close to 10,000 G, which is what we need to be able to get our house upgrade. Uh, we should have Robin over there building us a silo as we speak. So we'll go and say hi to her in a minute and see how she's getting on. Say hi to the chickens, all that kind of thing. Um, and then we need to make some lightning rods because we're going to have a, a thunderstorm tomorrow if possible. So I'll need to double check the recipe for lightning rods actually because I don't quite remember what we need potentially it's like um refined quartz iron and copper I'm not actually sure I'm hoping it doesn't need gold because obviously we haven't actually gotten to the gold level of the mines yet which is something that we actually really do need to focus on um I think we're getting to that stage now where we really want to start getting deeper in the mines uh so that might be something that we kind of devote a little bit of time and attention to in the near future okay so we got two eggs we're gonna make this gold standard one into mayonnaise which is great the standard one we'll just keep for our supplies oh and actually the silo is already built fantastic so we can actually go ahead and just harvest a little bit of this grass just chop a little bit of it back um and then we we will be able to uh, access feed for our chickens which we should actually do right now while I'm thinking of it because it's gonna be a thunderstorm tomorrow so the chickens aren't gonna go outside and eat the fresh grass they're gonna be relying on our feed so we're gonna just grab um, four pieces of hay we're just gonna lay them out one two three four beautiful and now our chickens are actually going to be okay for tomorrow, which is great news. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead. We've got a little bit of stuff here that we can sell, which is very exciting. Um, we can sell like most of the peppers. We're going to hold on to two of our sunflowers, the pine tar, and this uh, two of the peppers and this egg. And then we need to go to the store and get some more seeds uh, for growing some more of the summer flowers. Because as you can see, we're kind of... Uh, out of that now. Hello, Papa. Um, and then, yeah, we will have a look at the calendar, see what's going on. Uh, we need to try to um, catch a pike, apparently. Not sure if that's going to happen. And we're still working on making friends with Marnie as well. So that is something we should definitely do. I think because it's Tuesday, everyone's going to be at the exercise class today. Um, so we could pop in there and say hi to everyone just for a little bit of easy um, interaction with all of the ladies of the town. We've got ourselves a spice berry from our cave today. Looks like we've got one or two different um, ores and minerals. Minerals, not ores, um, in our cave and another geode, which is good. Always good to come down here and check those. And I definitely um, love all your ideas, by the way, about, yeah, like filling this place up with uh, preserves, jars, and um, 
storage and um, kegs when we get kegs as well and just and you know having a big area for producing um, wine and preserves and all that kind of thing I think that's gonna be really good so okay let's pop these geodes away um, and then let's get our butts over to the general store um, and see what is happening in the town today Ooh, looks like we've got some forageables up here as well. We've got a sweet pea, some grapes, and we've got another sweet pea up here. Awesome. Oh, I also, while I'm thinking of it, I need to look up you guys' comments on the last couple of videos. A lot of you have left some really good suggestions about where we should put some more storage chests. Oh no, and I've just realized I forgot again to get the automate mod. <laughs> Dang it. That's okay. We will actually get it eventually. Hi, Elliot. Hello there, what brings you to this terrible place? Oh, I was just um, following you, man. <laughs> I didn't know he came into the um, the Harvey's doctor surgery on a Tuesday. I sell different uh, dishes each week, so make sure to check in every now and then. You might taste something spectacular. Just let me know if you have any allergies. Okay, see you around. Thanks, Gus. Bye, Gus. Hey, man, Lewis. How did I become here in the first place? It's a long story. We're both too busy for stories right now. Oh, that's true, man, Lewis. Um, ooh, 510 gold reward for a slime hunter to slay six frost jellies in the frozen depth of the mind. Yeah, sure, we'll take that. Oh, and then tomorrow is Maru's birthday. And then uh, if I saw that correctly, it looks like we have some kind of a festival coming up. Like, uh, not tomorrow, but the next day. Yay! So let's go ahead and say hi to everyone. I think they might have finished their exercising by now. It's like midday. Um, so Marnie just says, my nephew Shane has been staying at my place the last few months. He helps me out with the chickens, so I'm not complaining. Say hi to Jody. Hello. Do you need something? I'm a little busy. Yeah, you sure look busy. Hello, future mummy. I'm part of the aerobics class at Pierre's. Yoga is an excellent way to focus the mind and body. It also keeps me healthy and slim. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, I've been seeing wild fruits in the forest lately. Foraging can be a fun way to earn some cash, or you can use what you find as gifts and food. Thank you for the tip. Robin, if you need any buildings on your farm upgraded, just ask me. You'll need to provide enough lumber and stone for the project, and it costs money too. But I'm sure you'll be pleased with the results. Absolutely. And we will probably actually be able to go and see her, I'm hoping, tomorrow to get the house upgrade happening. Hello there, Emily. I feel lazy today. Well... I mean, you just did a huge workout, so you're not, you must not be feeling too lazy or you weren't feeling lazy before your workout. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead. We want to grab, I think we needed two more sunflower seeds um, and then we'll grab, oh, I just went right past them, did I? One, two, three, four, five of the spangle seeds and five of the poppy seeds and we'll get those planted and growing again. Um, I don't think we'll need any more seeds tomorrow. I don't think, unless we're going to need, we might actually need more radish seeds. No, we shouldn't. I'm just thinking because tomorrow is Wednesday, so the Pierre's General Store will be closed tomorrow. So if we're going to need anything, we should grab it now. But I think we'll be all right. Let's say hi to Dusty. Who's a good boy? Um, and while we're here, we might as well run all the way down to the beach to see what is happening. And uh, see if there's any good forageables. Yeah, but if we can get up to 10,000 gold, uh, tomorrow that would be amazing say so, yeah, hi to Haley. do I wear those clothes every day yep until I get my house upgraded enough um, that I can have a chest of drawers and a sewing cabinet and all sorts of interesting wonderful things oh my god no forageables at all on the beach today that's unlucky that's so unlucky mm. in my mug today for this episode I have green tea with chai <coughs> Excuse me, it is one of my favorite like pick-me-ups um, when I'm feeling quite tired. So that's why I've gone with that. So okay, yeah, Mario's birthday is tomorrow. And then we have the luau. Oh, oh crap. I potentially should have held on to one of my gold standard peppers that I sold. Oh, there's Granny. Let's say hi. But yeah, um, it's always good to put a gold standard pepper in the in the pot if we can. Um Okay, that's good. But maybe, maybe we'll get another one harvested before the luau. I'm not sure. We might not. We might have to put something else in there. Mum won't let me have any more gummies today. Well, you probably don't need any more, child. Respect your mother. That's right. But yeah, offered in the first year of Stardew Valley, I don't actually do super well at the luau. <laughs> I have found that I often... Um, 
kind of missed the mark on the the soup ingredients, but I don't know, we'll have to see how we go. Okay, so I just want to quickly run over here and plant the rest of these seeds, um, and then we can water them. Wonderful. And then we'll get, um, excuse me, yes, some more poppies and summer spangles growing. They do actually sell for a decent amount of cash, um, and they're also a really good thing to have around for in the future. Um, when we can actually, yeah, start crafting and creating our own clothing items, which is something, pardon me, I have the burps, that you unlock um, as a part of your friendship quest with Emily. Um, she kind of has a sewing machine in her house and uh, you can go in there and, and sew your own clothes. Um, and then there's also, you can also eventually just have like your own um, sewing machine in your own house and do things uh, there as well, which is really cool. So that's definitely something that I want to uh, work towards. And yeah, the flowers, um, they actually act as dye for your clothing. So it is actually really good to have a bunch of those around, uh, is what I've discovered. Now, I am just, you'll see here, working my way over to this half of the farm. I'd like to just start clearing some more of this out. Um, we do actually have another... Uh, whatchamacallit, minecart shortcut that you can kind of see down there in the left hand corner of the screen um, that we can access through our minecarts over next to the house. Um, and the reason for that is that the farm actually extends quite extensively down to the south, including like a whole other like area for mining and stuff and growing plants. So it is a good idea to start sort of working our way down towards this. Um, and especially now that we've got the, uh, the silo, we can cut all the grass in this area and keep the hay as feed for the chickens which is excellent however it looks like I can't actually get through down to there yet because my pickaxe is not strong enough to break that boulder oh that's okay but yeah I just thought it would be nice to come down here and sort of clear out this uh, pathway a little and then we need to go quickly I've just remembered and see if we can craft some lightning rods ready for the storm tomorrow let's actually let's hope that we've got enough of everything <laughs> that we're going to be able to craft them um so let's just see let's pop all that away and uh, let's put the grapes in there lovely okay so what do we need to craft lightning rods iron refined quartz and bat wings how many bat wings have we got 27 not bad three refined quartz but we can easily make more and we've got 20 iron okay well let's just pop a little bit more quartz in the smelters and then we can make one, two, three of these straight off the bat. Fantastic. Okay, so I'm going to put one um, over here. If it lets me. Yes, it does. I'm going to put one over here. And I'm going to put one right here. And then I'm going to see if I can put one over there as well. The reason I want to put them in those areas is because lightning can actually strike your crops and damage your crops. So I don't really want that to happen. Um, and actually thinking about that, let's actually move this guy. Oh, I'm getting quite tired. Um, and let's put it over here next to the doghouse and or next to, hmm, yeah, like just in, in a, a spot where it's going to protect our, our little flowers over here. I feel like that would be a good idea. Uh, but yeah, clearly we'll need to collect some more bat wings so we can create, craft some more of these things. Um, let's just wait for the quartz to be done. Now it is done and I've gone to pick up my tea bag. So let's put that back down again. <laughs> and then let's pop a bit more quartz in. Okay, so I just want to make one more for now. And we're going to pop that one over here. And that'll be great. Let's also, because scything doesn't require any energy, let's just go ahead and clear out some of this grass in this area over here. Fantastic. Okay, and then it's 8.30 p.m. So I think I'm going to go ahead and send, uh, what's her name? Bonnie to bed. I almost said Julia again. <laughs> my bad. And for those of you wondering in the comments, Julia Hero is the main character in my uh, Sims 1 LP. Oh my gosh, look at this. Okay, we got hardwood fences, cheese presses, and quality sprinklers unlocked. Oh my gosh, yes, this is so exciting. Okay, well, we really need to work at getting down to the gold level in the mines now because quality sprinklers, I believe, we'll check in a minute, they do require gold. Okay, so we made almost 2,000 gold today, speaking of gold. 
So yeah, you get a fair bit of money for your flowers, um, which is why I always sell the good quality ones. Um, peppers don't really sell for much, do they? But we did make a nice little amount of gold off of those. Uh, we got 120 for our gold standard spice berries. Got a little bit for our Geminite and Mudstone. And yes, yeah, so that's a pretty solid day. So I'm thinking that today our route is just going to be pretty much north up towards the mountains. I want to go to the mines. I want to slay those six um, blue slimes that we've been tasked with slaying. And we've just, just crossed the threshold where we can task Robin to upgrade our house. So we're going to do that. We're going to be left with no money whatsoever, but it's fine. Um, clear and sunny, perfect for the luau tomorrow, fantastic. What is our luck stat today? Okay, well the spirits are not um, gonna on our side, so luck is not on our side today. Uh, which isn't great for our mining uh, ideals, but that's gonna be alright. Okay, dear Bonnie, tomorrow we're all gathering at the beach for the annual Pelican Town Luau. The highlight of the event is the communal potluck. Make sure you bring something good to contribute. The governor himself is attending the event, so make sure you're on your best behaviour. Come to the beach sometime between 9am and 2pm. Mayor Lewis. Awesome. Will do, Mayor. Oh, and look at this. We've actually got a tomato harvest. Sweet. That's really good. You can see the lightning flashing. It looks like our melons are doing quite well. Almost fully grown. That's awesome. Hello, chickens. So our chickens are in here being nice and dry and warm, which is great. And they've got plenty of food to get them through the day. So that is awesome. We've got two just normal quality eggs from them today. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep those. Again, I always keep the normal quality ones um, for our own kind of supplies. Um, and I'm going to actually keep one of these gold standard tomatoes to maybe put in the potluck uh, tomorrow at the luau. Not sure what else we could put in. There's probably a few things, but I'm not thinking of them right now. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. And then let's put those in there. Let's grab our dagger. We won't need our scythe. And then we'll put the eggs in here. And we should just craft a couple of snacks. Let's do five. Oops, not the cauliflowers. Okay. So we can craft our field snacks ready for the mines. And then we should be good to go. Okay, so let's go and slay some slime. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I need the wood um, <laughs> that I need to give to Robin for the house upgrade. So it's just golden wood, right? I'm pretty sure it is. Um, oh, yeah, that seems to ring a bell. Should we take our stone just in case? I think we'll take our stone just in case. Because <laughs> I can't remember anything, as you guys can clearly tell. <sighs> But it's fine. I got this. Seriously. I am a professional and I play this game all the time. I've got like 300 hours in Stardew Valley. I know what I'm doing. It's totally fine. Okay, so let us go. It's so, oh my gosh, it's like 7.30 a.m. So Robin's probably not even up yet. <laughs> oh dear. Well, let's go over and say hi to Linus. I imagine he might be sort of huddled in his tent, staying dry and warm. Yes, he is. Hi. A warm rain is a pleasant way to get clean. True. And summer rains are often warm, uh, particularly in my area. Oh, there's a sweet pea. Nice. Okay, so can we get in at 8? Is 8 a.m. too early? Oh, my gosh. It only opens at 9. Robin, you're killing me here. All right, well, let's just maybe run down to the community center area and see if we can find any other forageables, because why not? We could put this gold standard spice berry into the luau potluck. That could be all right. I feel like something spicy is always going to be a hit in a potluck, isn't it? <laughs> just make the soup too spicy for everyone to eat. I'm sure it'll be fine. Everyone will love it. And yeah, we picked up a couple more sweet peas, which is great. Having a look around, see if I can see any wormies, which I can't at the moment. Should have brought my fishing rod. I should, I could have done some fishing. That would have been smart. Oh yes, and I actually think one of the places you guys suggested I put a chest um, was in the community center. Hey there! Or like have a separate um, chest for community center stuff, which is a great idea. Okay, so we're gonna upgrade our house. 10 hours of gold and 450 pieces of wood. Yes, please. There goes all of my gold. This is what we've been working up to for ages. So she'll get started tomorrow, except I don't think she will because it's the luau. And I should be finished in around three days. Fantastic. Let's also say good morning to Demetrius. We're insulated from the rest of the world and you're in Stardew Valley. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe it is. 
<sighs> I agree. Oh, and isn't it Maru's birthday? Oh, are we good enough friends with her to go into her room where she's currently just hanging out? No, we're not. Dang. All right, well, we'll have to hope that she comes out of her room, but if we don't end up giving her a birthday gift today, I'm not super fast, <laughs> to be honest. I don't care. But yes, let us get our butts up to the mine. Let's go down to whatever level we're up to. And then we can start um, progressing deeper. What level are we up to? Are we actually up to like the black lava levels? Those levels are pretty scary. Oh, hello. Still need something to drop into the festival soup, Bonnie? I wonder how the soup tomorrow will turn out. Perhaps the cave carrots I dug up would make a good addition. Ew, no thanks. <laughs> so yeah, level 70. Is this still... Oh, this is still frozen. Okay, cool. This is perfect then. We should be able to uh, kill the blue slimes that we need to kill, as well as collect some more iron um, and progress down deeper, which is great. Ah, oh, what am I doing? Crystal dagger. Haha. <laughs> Take that, bat scum. Ooh, look at all the iron. Actually, quite a lot of it. That's nice. Die! Sweet. I actually really like that dagger. <laughs> like, quite a lot. It was a very good item, I have to say. Coming for you, slime. Say hello to my crystal dagger, my little friend. <laughs> I missed. Oops. Oops. Face the right way. Come on, Bonnie. There we go. Okay. Cool. Great success. All right, now let's just swipey swipey away all of these like frozen crystally things. Ooh, a ghosty. Nice. Ow, he got me. Get the rest of this iron. There's no other blue slimes on this floor. So we'll have to keep searching for some of those. Hello, ghosty. Where did you go? You went off like whoop whoop. Ooh. There we go. Cool. Got some solar essence. Nice. Oh, and I see the ladder. Fantastic. Let's just make our way over there. Oh my gosh, I just got a refrying quartz from breaking a crystal? Is that a thing that happens? Huh. I did not know. Collect some more iron. There's definitely no slimes on this floor. Nope. Okay, let's go down. Ooh, looks like we've got a jade rock. Nice. Got some more quartz. This is a rather small floor by the looks. Uh, dagger. Nice. Well, now that I got a refined quartz from one of these, I feel like I have to break all of them. <laughs> But I feel like that's also potentially a waste of time. Ooh, frozen geode. Another frozen geode. Sweet. I feel like our luck hasn't been too bad today so far, considering the spirits are somewhat mildly perturbed and not on our side. We're going okay. Ooh, there's another blue slime. Sweet. Eh. Eh. There we go. Got him eventually. It only takes 5,000 hits with the... <laughs> forest sword compared to this guy. It's fine. Oop, and we've got the ladder. Nice. See what's in there. Just some rocks. Might as well kill this skeleton. Oh, he's behind a rock. Let me set you free! So I can stab you in the face. Just for our monster slaying counts. For the, the Monster Hunters Guild. Oop, okay, so we've got down another five labels, which is great news. There's a ladder. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, it's the little fairy dude. Hi, friends. Okay, we've got another letter. Yeah, like I'm feeling like our luck really isn't like going too badly today so far. Ow. Not supposed to be able to throw that far. Die, slime. Okay, let's pull out the dagger. Oops. Oop, got a ladder. Got a bat. Okay, let's have a little field snack. Why not? And look at all these skeletons just hanging out. I mean, ooh, and there's some. Oh, is that a diamond door over there? Do I spy? I think it might be. Okay, let's kill that guy so he doesn't kill us. 
Oh, look at that, you guys. We just harvested our first diamond in our playthrough of Stardew Valley here. That is awesome. I think, unfortunately, we have to donate it to the museum, <laughs> which sucks a bit. But, you know, I am a completionist, so I need to donate it to the museum so we can get that uh, point. <laughs> okay, I see, oops, a way down already, which is pretty amazing. I don't want to go down just yet, necessarily, because I would like... Oh, there's another one? Oh my gosh. I would like to just check the slimes. I'm here to kill slimes, you guys. <laughs> and another way down? Oh my giddy aunt. Okay, that's just a bit much. Let's just go. Three ladders appeared to let me down. You think the game wants me to go deeper? I think it does. Maybe it's that, like the spirits not being on our side is like... The game's trying to trick me into going deeper than I can actually handle, so I so I die. Maybe that's what's going on. Okay. Ooh, a statue! Yay! Got the coal! Now that I know that that's a thing. Nice. Let's get my quartz over here. And, okay. Still doesn't look like there's any slimes here. We might have to go back up a bit, like, higher up in the mines to actually find a bunch of slimes. Uh, because, yeah, there's actually not many around by the looks. Okay, now, this time we actually have to search for the ladder. Oh, not very long, though. Here we go. Level 79 right now, you guys. So we're about to hit level 80, which I believe is where the, like, uh, the difficulty ramps up. So I, I believe level 80 is where you start finding gold, I think. Um, so once we get there, we're really going to be quite outmatched in terms of our tools. Because I believe it'll take like three hits with our crappy little copper pickaxe to break rocks on that layer. Which is just not, not fun. Oh, ow. Okay. Any slimes? No slimes? Get the dagger, get the dagger. Ah! There we go. You're dead. No slimes anywhere. Oh, this is rough, man. Ow. Let's have another field snack. Just because I feel like I'm letting far too many things hit me today. <laughs> uh, okay, you're stuck there, but you can still throw bones at me. So, let's see if we can make it so we can get you with our amazing dagger. Ha <laughs> ha! Eat that, skeleton face. Okay, now we need to find the ladder. So this could take a little while. But I definitely, since we're so close to level 80, now we have to get down to level 80. Obviously. Oh, there it is! Look at this, and we've got a treasure chest. What did we find? We found Firewalker boots. Ah, yeah. Okay, so let's take a look at these. So they are defense and immunity plus three, whereas these are only plus one and two, so we're gonna chuck those on. We got sexy red boots now to match our sexy red hair, which is awesome. And with that, we will call it a day in the mines. Oh, what wonderful weather. I forgot it was a thunderstorm out here. Uh, but I think that's been a pretty successful day. Although I didn't kill the amount of blue slimes I was supposed to kill, did I? Do we have time to search and slay three more? We should. I mean, we should be fine. If I go to, like, level 50 or something around there... We just need three on, like, one floor. There's one more. Hello, friend. He's like, oh my god. You just, just, just wrecked that slime's face. Run away, run away. Okay. Hopefully I haven't, like, overshot this and I'm going to regret it because we're going to be here too late. <laughs> Hopefully. What we could actually do is we could leave again and then go down again to 55 maybe? Oop, there's another slime. Sweet. 
Another ghost as well. Not not a bad find. Occasionally, if you're really lucky, these guys will drop a ghost fish, which is like one of the rarest fish in the game. Uh, but otherwise, you have to fish here in the mines for. So that would be great. Okay. Uh, we need literally one more slime. So can I find a ladder to go down just one little floor? Otherwise, we could try exiting again and then re-entering. Oh, it's right there. Oh my god, okay, there's monsters everywhere. But are there any slimes? Ooh, dwarf scroll. Nice, except I can't pick it up because my inventory's full. What could we ditch? Sap. Oh, and that's one we haven't actually got yet, so we can donate that to the museum. Ooh, there's also a frozen tear over there. Hey, I actually saw it for once. What's the time? 11, 10.40. We should be, oh, damn, full inventory. Um, what else can we ditch? Crap. Uh, the slime, I guess. Okay, come on, game. I just need one more little slime. Just one more little slime. <gasps> He's there. He's there. I see him. You, my friend, are going to get me a lot of gold. Sweet. All right, now let's get the heck out of here. That should have been it, right? Talk to Lewis. Okay. Oh, bummer. I'm annoyed we have to talk to Lewis. I thought maybe, you know, we would just get the gold immediately. But that's okay. We can do that tomorrow at the Luau. Will that count if we talk to him at the Luau? Will we get our reward? I don't even know, but it's a pretty healthy reward for that quest. Like, it's like 500 gold, which uh, we desperately need, considering I just spent all of our money um, on our house upgrade. But that's okay. And what I might do is I'll just get um, Bonnie unpacked home into bed, and then we might rejoin in the morning um, because I haven't been recording for too long, and the luau is probably going to be a pretty quick day. Like, we'll probably just go down there, say hi to everyone, um... Put the thing in the potluck. Or should I leave it for the next episode? Maybe I'll leave it for the next episode. Mm, yeah, I think I will actually. That's alright. Okay, you guys can wait for the next episode, right? <laughs> oh dear, I'm a tease. I'm sorry. Okay, let's put away the wood and the stone. Let us sell these sweet pea flowers. Um, okay... My crystal dagger, I'll pop away. And then do I have a specific, like, am I putting my clothes in this chest? Because that would make sense to me. Doesn't look like I am, but I'm going to do it now. Okay, yep, yeah, no, I'm actually going to call it an episode here. I will uh, have to make the cut because I need to edit this and get it up tonight. Ooh, level five. Okay, so either plus one or purveyor or geologist are definitely geologists. And we got level 4 combat, plus 5 extra heart power, and we can make a warrior ring. I wonder what that is. Um, but that's really exciting. We leveled up quite significantly. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have to cut it here because uh, it's already kind of late and I want to get this episode up tonight. So um, apologies for the slightly shorter episode this week. Uh, I'm sure I'll make it up for it next week. Make it up for it? Make up for it next week with a super duper long one again. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, make sure to leave your thoughts and suggestions down below the video. I do read your comments. I love your comments. And I will be putting extra chests around the world. Uh, like I'll put a chest in the mines as you guys have suggested. I'll put a chest maybe here in the house for uh, stuff for the community center. And yeah, we'll, we'll um, get the automate mod. I'm going to set myself a reminder in my phone to get that. And we will keep moving forwards with the series. Uh, but if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up under the video so that YouTube is like, oh, this is good content. Let me recommend it to people. Um, subscribe if you're not. Hit the notification bell. And I will. you will then get notified next Monday when I upload the next episode. Take care, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.